Yo, hi everyone, my name is Nihit and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll be giving you complete details about BITSAT 2026. So we'll start off with the eligibility criteria. And the first thing is that you need to have a minimum of 75% in your class 12th PCM aggregate. I repeat PCM aggregate and not your board scores. So do not confuse. And along with that, you need to have at least 60% in your PCM. That is all the three of the subjects. Now, the second thing is that only freshers and droppers are allowed. Double droppers are not allowed in BITSAT. Now, after this, I'll just address some common problems. The first thing is that that 75% criteria is uh, included along with the practical marks. So do not panic if you're not cr crossing that 75% threshold, just using your absolute, absolute scores. Now, the second thing is that you can always give your paper for recheck and also you can give improvement exams and bits takes the improvement exam scores into consideration, right? Now, also you can follow me on my Instagram. I'll be uh, giving you updates about, uh, all, about all the updates for Bitsat and a lot of other examinations, right? And now talking about the modes of admission. So the first thing is that you need to qualify Bitsat. That is the first way of getting admission in Bits Pilani, right? Now, the second way is actually uh, BITS gives direct admission to the board toppers and both the boards, I mean the national boards like CBC, ICC and also the state boards like, you know, Goa or Maharashtra or, uh, you know, something like that. Now, the third way of getting into BITS Pilani is through SAT scores, but this is only applicable for the NRIs and the international students, right? So if you're an NRI or an international student and you have a decent SAT scores, then you can apply through ISA, which is International Student uh, admission scheme and yes you will be enrolled in the same programs as the bitsat qualifiers now we'll talk about the bitsat cutoffs and if i analyze the past three four year trends then the cutoffs of bitsat have been rising very sharply right but in 2025 the cutoffs have fallen very drastically right you can just see so goa computer science closed at 295 in 2024 but the same branch closes at 274 in 2025 right and similarly hyderabad computer science closed at 285 in 2024 but Hyderabad Computer Science closed at 270 in 2025, right? So all I can say is that 2025 was an outlier year, right? And you should not take inspiration from the cutoffs of 2025. Instead, uh, like if you're targeting computer science, then the safe score should be somewhere around 295 plus. And if you're just trying to enter any of the campuses, for example, if you're, uh, matlab, B manufacturing ki cutoff, ya B civil ki cutoff, to make cross karni hai, then you should target 255 plus and that would be a great entry level score, right? Now talking about how difficult BITSAT really is. So from what I've analyzed is that students face a lot of problem in time management and accuracy. And both these things are very, very obvious because most of us are accustomed to JWE preparation, right? So we are not, um, we are not great at dealing with a lot of questions in less amount of time. And similarly, if you see the marking scheme in JWE is like plus four minus one, but in BITSAT, it is plus three minus one. So the percentage negative marking has gone very high to 33.33. So accuracy becomes really, really important. Now, the second thing that students face a lot of problem in is that there is no past year trends or patterns in BITSAT. You cannot rely on the past year questions and the trends that have been followed in BITSAT. For example, 2024, mein, there were multiple slots where organic organic But in 2025, organic had a very high weightage, right? So trends or matlab, past year questions are not relevant for BITSAT, ke liye, right? And how will you like counter this fact is by preparing and covering the maximum amount of syllabus, right? So here width over depth, right? Syllabus coverage is very important in BITSAT mein, and that is how you'll perform well in your examination. Now, this is uh, one very common pattern that has been followed in BITSAT is that it continuously tests you on the low yield topics which is not relevant in JWE. For example, in maths, mein, there is a solution of triangles, you know, heights and distances. In chemistry, it is uh, environmental chemistry, general chemistry, organic ke tests. Ho Aise topic, which is test in JWE, BITSAT will, you know, give you questions on that, right? Now, talking about the BITSAT competition, so annually, like, you will see 3 to 4 lakh aspirants apply for BITSAT. 97 to 99% tilers, like, most of them will appear in BITSAT. And if you're targeting computer science, then the competition is even massive because jinko top seven ITs mein mila hota, they come and you know target bits computer science, right? Now talking about the competitive advantages that you will have, right? So the first thing you need to realize is that bits and JWE 
are two very different examinations and they need very different approaches right so the first thing is ki aise bahut sare topics hain ge mein jo ki deleted hain but with that mein unka relevance bahut zyada hai so first of all you need to cover that the second i already talked about is speed and accuracy right ye dono cheez tum tabhi improve kar paoge jab tumne bahut sari time bounded practice kar rakhi hai right and you were accustomed to solving a lot of questions in less amount of time now the third thing is is english lr now this is a section which is not there in jwe but is there in bitsat so english lr is something that gives you a very nice head start like most of the people who have got great bitsat scores they really scored well and pulled out pulled off a great score in the english lr section right so if i just say it in one word early preparation will give you a lot of head start in your bitsat examination now if you want to give your bitsat preparation an early head start then the best resource to go to is the ultimate bitsat crash course by fodu club it is a platform made by bitchins and has been trusted and used by over 2000 plus bitchins their insider perspective about bits pilani as an institute will give you an added advantage and will help you deal with the ever changing patterns of the examination and they also provide you the memory based questions which bits pilani does not really release right also uh, in the ultimate crash course you find detailed pcm and english lr lectures by the faculties who have over 10 plus years of experience right you get 20 plus bits at test series and you get active mentorship by bitchins themselves right and now talking about um, their book which is bits at question bank and is a go to resource for your bits at preparation you can order it because it goes out of stock real soon and yes you can use my coupon code nehit7 to get a 10% scholarship if you score above 300 then you can get an 100% refund over all the charges now let us talk about the overall exam pattern in bitsat right so first thing is that it's a speed based examination you find 130 questions in 180 minutes it's a cbt exam right computer based test hai and happens in multiple slots right ab slot ko lekar bahut log wo ye hota hai ki you know later ke slots kafi difficult hote hain early slots easy hote hain aisa kuch bhi nahi hai all the questions you find in the you know on your computer are actually picked by a server from a massive question bank राइट तो तुम्हारा कितना स्लॉट डिफिकल्ट है या कितना इजी है इट जस्ट डिपेंड्स ऑन योर फॉर्च्यूर एंड नथिंग एल्स राइट तो स्लॉट को लेके ऐसी कोई परसेप्शन नहीं है या टोटल 130 थर्टी क्वेश्चन टोटल मार्क्स इज 390 नाइन्टी प्लस थ्री माइनस वन राइट दिस द मार्किंग स्कीम एंड यहाँ पर कुछ बोनस क्वेश्चन भी होते हैं दैट ओनली एंड ओनली गेट अनलॉक वैन यू अटैम्प्ट ऑल द वन थर्टी क्वेश्चन राइट जब तक तुमने वन ट्वेंटी एट भी करें वो बोनस क्वेश्चन अनलॉक नहीं होते हैं एंड वंस यू स्विच ऑन टू द बोनस क्वेश्चन सेक्शन you cannot come back to the original paper and can you know change the uh, you know uh, answers right so back navigation nahi hota once you once you switch on to the bonus section now talking about the subject wise pattern so physics mein the 30 questions chemistry mein the 30 questions maths is slightly more uh, heavier right it has got 40 questions english has got 10 questions and lr has got 20 questions again right so this is the subject wise pattern now talking about the branches that are offered राइट तो कंप्यूटर साइंस सबसे पहले एक ब्रांच है एंड देन देर आर सर्किटल ब्रांचेस व्हिच इज एम एन सी ई सी ट्रिपल ई एंड ई एन आई राइट ये कट ऑफ्स के ऑर्डर में लिखी हुई है एम एन सी की काफ़ी ऊपर जाती है ई सी की भी काफ़ी ऊपर जाती है देन देर इज ट्रिपल ई एंड ई एन आई विच इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम राइट सो दीज आर लाइक द काइंड ऑफ एस्पिरेशन ब्रांचेस एंड देन यू हैव गॉट मैकेनिकल केमिकल एंड सिविल और इनकी कट ऑफ्स थोड़ी सी कम जाती है राइट now coming on to the fees and the scholarships right this is something very very important so bits mein jo fees hai um, there are some recurring fees that you have to pay every semester which includes the tuition fees mess fees and hostel fees and there are some one time fees jo ki ek bari pay karni hoti hai ke koi event pe pay karni hoti hai which is the admission charges and then bits has got two mandatory internships that you have to do which we call as practice school ps right to us internship ke registration ke liye tumhe kuch charge pay karna hota hai that is called as ps charge राइट right, ये तो मैं दो बार देनी होती है पी एस वन एंड पी एस टू करेक्ट सो टॉकिंग बाय द फीस तो तुम्हारी ट्यूशन फीस इज थ्री पॉइंट वन सेवन लैख पर सेमेस्टर मैथ्स फी इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव लैख पर सेमेस्टर हॉस्टल फी इज फोर्टी के पर सेमेस्टर एंड पी एस चार्जेस पी एस वन की इज अराउंड वन लाख रुपीज एंड पी एस टू के इट इज अराउंड वन पॉइंट वन लाख रुपीज राइट एंड दिस इज टेकन फ्रॉम द लेटेस्ट ब्रॉशर राइट ये जो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव के लिए जो चीज़ें फॉलो हो रही हैं मैंने वो आ, उसको कंसिड्रेशन में लिया है दिस इज फॉर द लेटेस्ट बैच परफेक्ट नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट द टोटल फी दैट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट सो आई मीन द द बैच दैट इज गोइंग टू ग्रेजुएट इन लाइक 2026 ट्वेंटी सिक्स 
they'll pay a lump sum of 30 L if they are in the single degree that is four years of engineering and the dual degree people who are in five years of engineering they have to pay 39 lakh rupees right and also fee hikes um her salary like annually they increase the fee by eight percent are which is very sad like there have been massive protests against this but kuch hua nahi, like, right so this uh, you have to keep in mind now coming on to the scholarships part right so scholarship ek merit come scholarship milti hai, right if you're a um, excellent academic performer then you will get your fair share of scholarships apart from that if your family income is you fall in, under this bracket that your family income is below 12 well then you've got a special scholarship right you fall under the category of mcn right and the top 5% students, the top 5% uh, of the academic performers who fall under the MCN, they get 100% waiver on their tuition fees. The next 2% get a 50% waiver on their tuition fees. The next 5% will get a 25% waiver on their tuition fees. And the next 10% will get a 10% uh, waiver on the tuition fees, right? So this is something that is uh, that makes bits very affordable for a lot of people, right? Now talking about the uh, hostel and the mess facilities. So here the first thing I've written is Pilani, Hyderabad, Goa. Right. Uh, the thing is that uh, uh, Pilani is kind of more spacious when it comes to the hostels. So hostels mein Pilani events there. And Goa ke rooms are a little bit right? So Goa ke hostels are not that great. And now coming on to the mess facilities. So again, Pilani mein the in-house mess facilities are really great. Uh, I mean, the mess food is kind of nice. People say that. And you get a lot more options, right? Uh, there are more... Uh, Matlab, radies, they say it, right? So, there is a lot of Pilani, similarly for Hyderabad and then Goa, right? Now, the thing uh, in Goa that is really great is that, I mean, if you are ordering on quick commerce, then it will work really well in Goa and might not work uh, very well in Pilani because of the remoteness, right? But Goa happens to have a, you know, more happening vicinity when compared to the counterparts. So, this is something you have to keep in mind. And first year, you get a shared room, you get a roomie. And uh, after that, from second year onwards, you get a single room, right? So this was about the hostel and the mess facilities. Now talking about the very peculiar features of Bits Pilani, right? The first is that you get a very nice startup culture, right? There are too many startups coming out of Bits, right? Which is really great. And uh, the second is uh, the 0% attendance policy, which is very famous. The third is the alumni network, which is very massive again. And the fourth is you get a flexible timetable and the flexibility to choose pros. Uh, for example, if you're in the like FC and you get a training on Saturdays, then you can actually choose to keep less number of lectures on Saturdays to manage your times accordingly, right? So these are some features. Now talking about the placements, right? So this is for the Pilani campus. And yes, uh, the source is Bits Pilani ka official website. You can tally it from there. And I've taken the median packages. Uh, average is kind of deceiving. It, it hides the outliers. So I've taken the median. In 2021-2022, it was... 19.4, 22-23 it was 18.2 and 23-24 it was 16.1, right? Uh, for Goa, 21-22 it was 18, 22-23 it was 17.6 and 23-24 it was 17 again. For Hyderabad, 21-22 uh, it was 15, 22-23 it was 18 and 23-24 it was 18 LP again, right? And for a uh, better detailed analysis, you can just go onto the website and check the average packages as well. Now coming on to the fact that if uh, my bits are not good scores nahi aaya, and I do not want to compromise on my branch, I do not want to go into chemical or you know manufacturing or civil mein jana meko. So there are two options that you have. The first is the dual degree and second is the bits 2 plus 2 program, right? I'll give you an explanation on that. So dual degree mein you get 5 years ka integrated course where you've got an MSc, MSc degree plus an X branch, right? Jo tumhe engineering degree tumhari wo allot hogi. And this X depends on your CGPA that you score in the first year, right? So MSc may have got five things, MSc Eco, Maths, uh, Physics, Chemistry and Bio, right? And matab, uh, sab sada, uh, cutoffs be economics. Hoti hai. Economics is kind of aspirational. It gets you into finance and a combination of computer science and finance uh, lands you up in a very great jobs like uh, Quant, which is very hyping. So Eco comes on the top, fair Maths, uh, Maths may it really coincides. Maths ka syllabus kind of coincides with that of uh, computer science so this is very aspirational and then you've got physics chemistry and bio right so this was about the dual degree and dual degree ke pros and cons we'll talk about right so the first thing is you can get computer science at low score right if you score a great cgp in the first year and the second is that there is multidisciplinary scope right uh, just like i said eco plus computer science 
uh, lands you up in quant, right? Uh, bio plus computer science will get you into neural networks and stuff like that. So this is the scope of it. The third thing is that you get two internships. Uh, just single degree hota hai. Unke PS2 mein they get uh, only one PS and uh, dual degrees they get two internships. So you've got more things to write on your resume. You've got more work experience, right? The cons are that you get an extended year. People uh, who come into engineering, they do not want to extend it. They want it to wrap up in like just four years. So extended year is one problem. The second is that you get uh, to pay fee for one more year, right? And the third thing is it, it kind of gets tough to manage. If you land up in like a combination, let's say maths plus uh, any of the circuital branches. Circuital branches are like really uh, hard to manage in general. And then so it is very, very academically stressful, right? So these are the three things you have to keep in mind. Now talking about the BITS 2 plus 2 program, which is another way of getting or securing a seat at BITS at a low score, right? So this says that you get to do two years of your, pro, uh, of your course at BITS itself. And the next year, two years, you'll go into abroad universities, right? And these universities include RMIT Australia, uh, Iowa US, Buffalo USA, CS Paris, and RPI New York, right? Uh, abhi iski value proposition I'll just say, right? So agar tum, matlab, US, France, ya, uh, Australia, if you're trying to pursue an undergraduate program, then you'll spend like 1.9 to 2.8 uh, if you're going to the US, 1.5 to 2.3 if you're going to Australia, and 55 to 1.7 if you're going to France, right? But if you do this bits 2 plus 2 uh, program, then you can do all of this. You can go to the abroad universities at a much affordable price. Right for RMIT Australia, it is 62 lakh rupees. For ISU, this is 87 lakh rupees. For UB, this is 77 lakh rupees. And additionally, you get a lot of scholarships as well. Right, you get merit scholarships. Also, uh, agar tum RMIT le re, RMIT me le re, so they have this mandatory 20% waiver on this 10 courses. Right, so you're getting to do the same degree at a much lesser price. And I'll talk about the pros and cons. You get two degrees, right? Uh, a degree from BITS and a degree from the abroad university. And yes, the degree is no different from mine. Uh, ek banda jo four years ki degree bits mein kar hai, he'll get the same degree as yours, right? The second is I just told you, you've got lower costs. And the third thing is that you've got two placement supports, right? It's really your call that do you wanna pick uh, to sit in placement at bits or do you wanna uh, take a placement or get into the job fair of the abroad universities, right? So these are the two things, uh, two, two placement supports. And the fourth thing is that uh, you get to uh, do computer science at lost cause, right? The con is that there is no uh, new batch that are out yet and the stats are not um, there. So this is something that you have to keep in mind. And I think that's all about bits, bits 2 plus 2. And yes, I think that was all about bits at 2026. I hope you find this video to be useful and subscribe me and follow me on Instagram to stay updated about all such examinations.